Hello. Thank you. Um, I'm reading Enjoy Life Forever. Uh, I, I've started reading the book. I was puzzled by the prayer at the end when he prayed for the governing body and anointed Jehovah's Witnesses. I forget the exact words that he said. Um, that they were going to do various tasks. Um, can you remember the exact words that were said? Okay. Um, so what was your question? Well, on JW Broadcasting, Mr. Lett, February 2023, JW Broadcasting, one hour, 37 minutes and 50 seconds, he says, Jesus and his 144,000 associated kings will have the power to completely empty the grave, then an ellipsis, because he repeats himself, by means of the resurrection. I thought that Jesus would resurrect the dead. I didn't think that Jesus and dead Jehovah's Witnesses, who've been made into spirit creatures, like Judge Rutherford and Fred Franz, they would be assisting Jesus, working with Jesus in raising the dead. I, I, I'm a bit shocked about that. Thank you, sir. So what was your question? Was there a question in there? Well, surely Jesus alone is going to resurrect the dead. Um, it, it, it says that um, there's going to be a man, singular, who will raise the dead in Acts 17.31, and that's surely pointing to Christ. It's not saying there's going to be a thousand, 144,000 people who will be working together to raise the dead. Or rather, right, 144,001. Were you asking about the prayer, or were you asking about a broadcast? Both, because the prayer at the end seems to indicate that Jesus will be working with the um, 144,000 to do various tasks. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yes. The, the, Bible does, the Bible does talk about that, what the role of the 144,000 will be doing, so... I mean that they'll they'll rule as kings and priests. Yes, um, so agreed. Are, are you agreed. are you so that I mean that would be tasks. agreed. So he, he, he that's what he was praying for. But they're not going to be rising people, raising the dead. Surely Jesus won't be needing one hundred forty four thousand to work with him to raise the dead. That's what Mister Lett said on JW Broadcasting. So so my question is is have you have you studied before? Um, many years ago, um, oh, over, well over 10 years, there was a little yellow book that you had. Yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, so um, I are, looked at that for are, four, four, you, four, four or five weeks. Yeah, um, gotcha. Miss, but I've been looking at JW Broadcasting and what the person said in the prayer towards the end shocked me a little bit. Mr. Lett went on to say on February 23, 2023, JW Broadcasting, just over a minute later, at one hour, 39 minutes and five seconds, Mr. Lett said, talking of Jesus, he and 144,000 will be able to read hearts. Then in another, then another ellipsis, because he repeats himself, they, plural, that's a plural, will be able to perfectly judge mankind. So Mr. Lett seems to be saying that the 144,000 will be working with Jesus, not just to raise the dead, but also to judge mankind. And I'm a, I'm a bit shocked about that, sir, because I thought Jesus alone raised the dead and Jesus alone will judge mankind. It'll be Jesus on the um, great white throne of Revelation 20. It won't be Jesus and the 144,000 judging mankind, surely. Okay. I mean that if if obviously you you've done your research on this and, and you feel confident with it, um, I I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, what would you like, sir? Where does Jesus? Where does the Bible say that Jesus and one hundred and forty-four thousand that the judgment will be by Jesus and one hundred and forty-four thousand? Or where does the where does the Bible say? that the resurrection of the dead at the last day, on the last hour, would be by Jesus and 144,000 anointed Jehovah's Witnesses who've been turned into non-human spirit creatures. So they're no longer human. They've been turned into non-human spirit creatures. Where's that in the Bible? So, I mean, obviously, uh, you're a student of Revelation. Right? I 
not really interested in myself. I'm interested in, I'm asking what does scripture well, say? I mean, you see, you see, I mean, Robert, you seem pretty specific because you quote Revelation and you, you pretty much have studied a broadcast to know that right down to the minute and the second. So, I mean, obviously this is something that has really, I mm. mean, must be plaguing you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where is this in scripture? Because I'm obliged to obey scripture, not what people tell me about scripture. If a Seventh-day Adventist pastor tells me something about the scripture, I don't, I can ignore him. I'm not obliged to obey him unless what he says is in obedience with scripture. Now, Mr. Lett on JW Broadcasting says that people like him, Mr. Lett, when he dies and he becomes a non-human spirit creature, he will be one of 144,000 that will help Jesus to resurrect the dead, and then Mr. Lett will be helping Jesus to judge mankind. Now, where's that in Scripture? Okay. Uh, is there a way to, to, to get back with you? Because, obviously, I just got done with the meeting, and yep. I, I would absolutely, like, I mean, I don't have Revelation memorized, I, I can, I have it like up where I'm transitioning to something else. And I would absolutely love to answer that question for you. Yeah. Okay. I'll put my email okay. in the text. Oh. I'll, I'll give you my yeah. email on one condition. Can you just put that in the chat? You can put that in the chat if you want. Yeah, I'm just about to do that. But I'm doing oh, okay, it on great. one, I'm doing it yeah. on one condition. You do not send me any links and you don't send me any copy and paste. Because I've had this before with Seven Day Adventists. They don't stop pestering you with endless. Go to watch this video. Watch that video on our website. Go to our website. Look at this video. Um, and then they copy and paste articles from their website. So I'll give you my um, email address. But it's on the condition that you promise that we, we're we going to talk on Zoom. You're not going to copy and paste me. You're going to pester me with endless. Yeah. Oh, great. I, 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 I'm not in the business of wasting people's time. Okay, fine. <laughs> thank you. Oh, well, thank you very Hi, Robert, much indeed. Are you in California? Are you in California? No, 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 no. I'm speaking to you from the UK. I, <laughs> so, so my, my, why, uh, might I ask how, how, how do you get to Hanford, California Zoom from the UK? Um, somebody gave me your Zoom details. I was chatting about this online, saying I'm puzzled by these things. And they said, if I came here, you'd be able to help. So it's nearly four o'clock in the morning, but I'm quite happy to stay up. In I was going to say, get that's answers. late over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 uh, yeah. Well, I, I really appreciate that. Um, let me, let me jot this down here quick. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you. And, and uh, I'd I'd be more than happy to uh, to to reply back to you. Um, no, I don't want a text. I want nothing in text. If you want to speak to me, you speak to me on Zoom. I speak to living people. I, I don't I don't like people okay, who copy and yeah, co well, copy I mean, and paste. I got to get a hold of you then to be able to exactly up something to so, be able to. Um, I I can speak any day of the week except for Monday. Never on a Monday. Obviously, it would be more convenient for me in the morning or early afternoon. OK, but I can yeah, fit in I, around I would, you. I would love to do the research and you, you, yep. you know, just just to get the, the, the scriptural okay. basis for what you are. What basically you want to know is the role of the one hundred and forty four thousand in the resurrection. Yes, yes. And specifically what Mr. Lett said on February JW Broadcasting, February 2023, from roughly one hour and 37 minutes. Let me uh, let me jot that down. Yeah. Uh, one uh, thirty-seven and two two zero two three broad. Robert, my name is Tim. By the way. Hello, hello, Tim. Yep. Pleased to see you. I'm also Tim. He's a Tim. Two Tim. Tims. No, All right. No, no, no <laughs> lie. First and second Timothy. Yeah. yeah <laughs> First and second Timothy. Great. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank have, you. Have a good evening. We we uh, have have some friends that we're yep. going to associate with, and then I'll look that up, and then I'll, I'll get back in contact with you. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye, Tim. Yes. Yeah. Bye, yeah, other Tim. Okay. <laughs> Bye. fantasy we're looking at 
reality. In fact, one brother said, can you imagine getting up in the morning, put your glasses on, you can't see anything. <laughs> Everything's blurry. You take them off, now you can see beautifully. Not fantasy. We're talking about reality in Jehovah's new world. But now let's identify superhuman ability number four. And to do this, just think, if you will, of the account in Mark chapter 5. If you recall, very sadly, heart-wrenchingly, a little 12-year-old girl had died. But what did Jesus do? The account tells us he took her hand and said, Little girl, I say to you, get up. That girl who had been dead immediately rose and began walking. Well, what future accomplishment is signified by this miracle? Well, Jesus and his 144,000 associate kings will have the power to completely empty the grave, the common grave of dead mankind by means of of the resurrection and then according to Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 the empty grave will be thrown into the symbolic lake of fire it will be abolished forever never again to receive another occupant well let's isolate superhuman ability number five Matthew chapter 9 please turn there Matthew chapter 9 and let's read beginning in verse number 3. Matthew 9, verse 3. Now certain scribes said to themselves, This fellow is blaspheming. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why are you thinking wicked things in your hearts? So notice Jesus could read hearts there as a perfect human. What about his messianic king? Even more so, he and the 144,000 will be able to read hearts, and that means what? They will be able to perfectly judge mankind with absolutely no mistakes. Amazing indeed. Well, let's determine one more, a sixth super.